Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday night. Welcome to Jason May Draw Clubhouse. We're going to draw some stuff tonight. I hope you guys are ready. I'm going to give you a chance right now. Quickly share this with all your friends. I know John Dahl did already. I saw that on Facebook. It's awesome. Thank you, John. Anyone else that wants to do that, get on it. And uh, I'm going to head over to uh, Chris right now. Let's see what he's doing. Hopefully we can hear him. Hello, Chris. Hey, everybody. Hi, Bray. There he is. Just just sharing the old... Uh... In all of his glory. Yep, live on air. A live on air share. Oh, and done. All right. I did my shares, I think. Uh, can everybody hear Chris tonight? Can you hear me? Hopefully uh, he doesn't sound like a robot. I hope not. That would be bad. <laughs> so how is everybody doing tonight? I see John's here. I, things aren't lighting up too much tonight. I think maybe somebody forgot uh, today was Wednesday. That happens to the best of us. Let's see if this is working here. I feel like my thing is a little... I do this every week, because this might... It's actually sun in the studio. Oh, what's it like to have windows in your uh, <laughs> studio? You mean, you mean what's it like not to be drawing in a basement, Jason? I do. That is exactly what I mean. It's all right. Is it? Eh. It sounds nice. So uh, I'm getting a little jump on the drawing oh, yeah. doubler nice. this week. What should we call this? We don't have we don't have a word for this. A word? A name? Maybe one of the viewers can tell us. Uh, what, should, what should we call our... The old doubler. Joint venture. Oh, the joint venture. The Le joint adventure. The old joint adventure. <laughs> Split second, I was just like, uh... <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming that's a tree of some kind. I guess that's up to you to decide. I guess. I guess so. Let's see. Let's see if I... Plugged it in. I just... <clears throat> I am not looking see. at... Uh, see if I just... If I got it right. Comments right now. Oh, I need to. Almost. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna... Move this up. So, for those of you who have never been here before... This is Jason May Draw Clubhouse. Me and Chris are uh, drawing some stuff every week here. This is kind of our warm-up sketch. It's just John Dahl here tonight. It's all right, you're gonna get a private show, sir. Yeah, it's real quiet this week. I think you're the only one here and uh, all together, possibly. Mellowing out. What's happening over there? Hey, Jim's here. We got people. Jim Dixon, how you doing? <laughs> uh. So any new people? I don't think there are, but feel free to like and subscribe. Yeah. Share with your friends. Tell them how great it is to listen to our sultry voices as we draw our happy little trees. Or monstrous, monstrous human-like branches. It, well, it could be happy. I mean, I lobbed you a ball. I thought you were going to draw some fruit. I am drawing something. Creepy fruit. 
I'm gonna add some more uh, roots here while you're drawing. Yeah. I like the way that turned out. Uh-oh. I moved it. Uh-oh. Shh. It's back. Don't tell anybody. I took your beautiful tree and made it horrifying. It's hey, lovely. Kids. It's lovely. What's an apple? Oh, not us. Ooh, Jen, that's a good idea. Cast it on your TV. Uh, John does that. It looks gigantic. It's kind of freaks me out a little bit because I must be like bigger than an iPad on that TV. And I be like, Rrr. I just want to be a tiny little box in the corner. All right. And I'll, I'll put like a some kind of. What are you gonna do? Happy little bird up here. Oh, nice. <laughs> just nervously. Uh, I hi, like Mr. that one. Hi, Mr. Tree Man. <laughs> I'm gonna do a uh, screen capture of that. Boom! I did it. That's right. We don't. We don't normally like. Uh... We never post these. Yeah, you, we. You gotta we... come here for them. Yeah, you gotta use. And sometimes I don't even save them. I gotta start just leaving them in a lair. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna name my lair the Doubler. Did we come up with a name? Say. I'm gonna call it the doubler for now. Doubled it. The doubler. <clears throat> it's like experiment. All right, so are we are we done? I think we're done with the doubler. I think we're done with the doubler. Doubler done. Uh, I'm gonna draw. Uh, I'm gonna doodle a little bit uh, before we begin. And I'm gonna. <clears throat> While you do that, I'm going to enjoy my liquids. Oh, there you go. I went with Hawaiian punch today. What happened with that? I got a haircut. You see that? Did you notice that or are you asking? Uh, I don't have a mullet anymore, really. I mean, a little bit, but not a... Hey, Zach's here. I, 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 I shaved the sides of my face because... I shaved my face uh, like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> You've already got a five black shadow. I know. I cut myself on my Adam's apple. It's bleeding. My daughter was making fun of me. Seriously, you're right for having such a thin neck. I know. My Adam's apple's in there somewhere. Protected. I'm drawing an apple right now. That's right, Bree wanted... Bree wanted some fruit tonight. Okay, let's see. What can I... What can I... I don't know what kind of fruit she's into. I'm going with the basics right now. I got a banana. Oh, I was going to do a banana. You, uh, you can still do a banana. I'll do a single grape. That's a good idea. Actually, grape should be. Oh, this music tonight is sultry. See, I don't hear the music and I'm I upset. Know. Well, when COVID's over, you can come over and uh, we'll set you up here. You can just put your files on a cloud and use my um, Cintiq Mobile Studio. Ooh. Look at my banana, it's got eyes. My grape's a happy grape. She's drawing her favorite fruits right now, John. What fruits are those, sir? Oh, what's this thing called? That's a banana, Jay. You, you just drew it. Yeah, you're lagging. Da, 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 da. Boop, 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 boop. I drew one of these jobbies. I think I remember what it's called. I don't want to say it though, in case I'm wrong. One of our oh yeah, what are those, like dragon fruit or something? Uh, I'm thinking of bigger than a dragon fruit. Okay, she likes strawberries. Like strawberry shortcake? Can I draw her from memory? 
she's got a hat. Probably has a strawberry on it, but I can't remember. She's got, like, curly hair. Can't forget the seeds. Like, huge cheeks. Oh, this is going to be the worst strawberry shortcake ever. Actually, I think it looks just like her. <laughs> That's it, right? That's what she looks like? Everybody? Don't hire me to draw a strawberry shortcake. I'm just kidding. This is not how I would draw her if somebody hired me. Oh, look at you. You got color and everything. I just got pink. Strawberry shortcake probably has a nose, right? Pew! That's like a Shell Silverstein strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Am I right? It's gotta be some kind of crazy uh, poem about that from Shell. I'm putting hearts. I meant to put strawberries. Oh well. And then an orange. Orange, you glad? Anybody like fruit? Yeah, durian. That's what I was thinking. Is that how you say it? The stink fruit? That's it, the stink fruit. Jackfruit? What is jackfruit? Is that hang out with Jill fruit? I don't know. All right. Should we get started? Yep. We are about to announce our theme of the week. I hope everyone's ready. The dance uh, party music uh -huh. is still in. No, I'm going to turn the volume up so I can hear it. It's, 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 it's. Yeah, it's going to be good. So, this theme will... <laughs> I just got a text from somebody that says, uh, your strawberry shortcake will haunt my nightmares. <laughs> uh, all right. So let me scroll down to our scene for theme of the week. Uh, last week this was suggested, and I will say the viewer's name after I announce it. You guys ready? This is gonna be a hard one tonight. We're gonna really need a lot of feedback. Yeah. Cause this is on the weird side. You ready? Theme of the week. Ice, ice, maybe. What are we gonna do with this tonight? I have no idea. I'm trying to think about it as I dance. Ding, 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 ding. Is that too much? Or are we going to get a copyright hit on that? Oh, boy. Yeah, prepare yourselves. We're going to need a lot of comments. Fill it up. Ice ice, maybe. All right, I'm heading back over to split screen. You guys ready? Oh, Alright, we're here. And I'm gonna fire up our ticker. Boom! Ticker's going. You guys can hear Chris good tonight. He's, yeah. not, he's not maxing out too much. Ooh, a Yeti. Okay. Mm hmm. That I can get behind. That's definitely maybe. Before we get started. Uh, I'm gonna show off a couple things tonight while you guys suggest. A uh, few years back, should I go to close up for this, Chris? Go for it. All right, that, that's a Chris close up. We need the Jason close up. Here we go. Hey, my face is gone. That's all right. Um, so I used to work for Lego. Since we were doing Ice Ice maybe tonight. I figured I'd show you guys a couple pages that I did for them 2015 maybe uh, It's got ice No, maybe it does uh, fire versus ice These are were some Chima pages Whatever happened to Chima? Uh, I think they're still making things. I don't know if they're making the show anymore, but I think they still make new stuff Because I don't think I'd like a new series of things out. Oh, I'm sure they do because after Chima I worked on Nexo Nights. Nexo Nights did not last as long as, they, as I think they wanted. I don't think so either, which it was a shame because it was a lot of fun. Mm. 
Uh, I enjoyed drawing it. The concepts were awesome. The whole uh, video game aspect of it was awesome. Like you could uh, scan their shields and they'd get special powers, you know? All right, so I don't see a lot of stuff firing up here. Outside of Yeti. All right, what am I gonna do here? Hmm. I've got my thinking cap on. Hmm. Ice. Street side ice cream vendor. I like that. Polar bear. Okay. Would a polar bear be serving ice cream at his vendor cart? Uh, make him selling frozen penguins on a stick. Ooh, I like that. Thank you. Good job, viewer Chris. <laughs> it's okay. I, 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 st I stole a Yeti. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the Yeti. I just... So, uh, Chris and I are very excited. This week, uh, a software went on sale, and we bought it. And Jay made the, the mistake of telling me about it, only because if I have any problems or questions, I will be going to him immediately. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Which, and it didn't take long, to, even during, like, the download oh, and the true. update. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know what happened. I hate this. Why did you make me do this? <laughs> I'm going I, back to pencil and paper. I did. I forced him to get it. There's a polar bear mascot. Was it 7-Eleven slushies? No, I think that's a dog, right? No, that's slush puppies. No, no. Slush, slush puppies. Slush puppies? Then... Polar ice. Polar ice. Is it icy? Icy, yep. It was icy. You guys are good. No, I want one. Okay, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this, uh, da -da. this Yeti's head, but let's see if I could. Then the Yeti Heady. The Yeti Heady. Yeah, Heady. You know, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my Yeti eating ice cream from your. Uh... Well, you can't eat ice cream because I'm not gonna have ice cream. Oh, that's right, Frozen Penguin. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try to make this polar bear kind of weird. See how it works out. Polar bears have ears, right? <laughs> I think so. Uh Do, 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 do. You should probably have like a hat or something, right? Jamaican polar bear ice cream vendor. <laughs> Why does my stuff always go Rasta? Already that polar bear is adorable. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's appropriate to do uh Jamaican Rasta stuff or not. If any Jamaican and or Rastas are in the audience would would like to give Jason permission to mm. do a guilt-free Rastafari and polar bear. I would. That'd be awesome. If like Ziggy Marley just happened to be watching us and he was like, he's like, go for it, man. Yeah. Love is my religion. Do it. Penguin on a stick. <laughs> okay. The penguin on a stick <laughs> is just great. This is getting weird. Is this still PG? I guess, you know, if you watch a nature special, this is what they do, right? Yeah. I, you... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I gave my Yeti one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm snorting. I just got to have a little hat. I think, I, I think I'll give him a little. And an apron, right? Tank top. <laughs> I'm gonna. Would he have a high apron or a low apron? <laughs> Reminds me of the fat trellis guy in Lilo and Stitch whose ice cream always falls over. Yeah, I like that dude. Um, 
Well, I need some more ideas for my cart here. Like, I need uh, some ideas of like what my what my yet yeti should be wearing. Some coolness. I don't know what. We need to add some fun to this cart. Put that down there. That that makes it look a little neat. What would be funny to have on this cart? Like a sign. Maybe. What would be on the sign? Don't get crazy. But I bet he would have fish in here too. An umbrella. I thought about an umbrella. I don't have a ton of room for an umbrella. That's that's lazy Jay talking. That's a, I'll have to catch up to Chris Depends Jay on, talking, and he's only doing on a bust. Stick is. No, I'm not. It's doing like yeah, he's got like well, yeah. on, I got like full torso here. <laughs> look at that. You look, look at, at it. Look at that. All right, low. So that means he doesn't have arm straps. It's low. Why is this? What's happening here? Well, that's weird. Do I have something selected? I do. All right. Kiss the chef. All right. It's got the low apron. Kind of made him look like a super, super wrestler. Sumo wrestler. Uh, he's going to have little feet. Because that's funny. Mm -hmm. Just gonna put his hand up here. I'd like to draw him serving somebody, but I don't have time for that. I'm sorry. Chris is probably already coloring. And done and animated. <laughs> all right, that's looking all right. The wheels are a little messed up, but I'll uh live with it hmm hmm how much do penguins on a stick cost I don't know penguins are pretty plentiful I, I, like, I like three fish yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I didn't print out. Started making a gnome house today. Dr drawing one or like literally making one? Literally making one in my garden. I've had this uh, gnome door mm -hmm. that I made out of clay. Oh God, probably more than five years ago. My brother-in-law, so they've got a kiln and stuff. And uh, I made it out of terracotta, never painted it. Oh, this is the thing you showed me earlier. The jet, yep. jet painted? Yep. Can polar bears read? I don't know, Zach. I don't know, horses can. Right? That sounds scientific. I gotta start drawing here. I was psyched I got that uh, illustration gig this week. Oh, for that mascot? Yeah, for that mascot. Nice. I'll talk more about that in a later show. Working on something for somebody. That's not good. All right. I'm not thrilled with my uh, perspective here, but I 
think we'll get by. I feel like there'll be a door right here too for some reason. And it'll look cool. Maybe like a bread box door? Oh uh, yeah. That's for getting uh, whatever you sprinkle on penguins. Tartar flakes. <laughs> oh, tartar flakes. <sighs> da -da -da -da. I think I'm going to draw his little fingers. Here's your adorable widow fingers. Happy little finger. I hope whoever uh, makes um, Strawberry Shortcake hits me up after this and asks me to work on a book. That Yeti is terrifying. Probably will. What do you expect when you ye when you scream out Yeti? Well, I mean, you know, my polar bear isn't uh, terrifying. Okay, how can I make him less terrifying? I'm just saying. Oh, you know who's not terrifying at all? What? The uh, the Bigfoot in a Goofy movie. Oh uh, yeah. You want, have you seen that? Oh man, a long time ago. He dances to the Bee Gees because uh, Max's headphones land on him and he hears it. Yeah. Yep. And his eyebrows start dancing back and forth. And then he starts dancing like John Travolta. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe it's the eyes. What? Maybe if I. Maybe if he's less angry about the the penguin. Yeah. Maybe he's amped about the penguin. Yeah. Maybe he was mad. And then his friend bought him a penguin on a stick. I have seen Abominable. It was very good. Abominable. Ab I. I'm not gonna say it anymore. Now he just looks terrified at the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he does. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was his friend. He's like, my pe anybody see my pet penguin? <laughs> Oswald, no. No. Was Oswald a penguin? No, Oswald's a big blue thing. His friend's a penguin. No, there's always Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin. That's true. Maybe if I give him the classic googly eye setup. One eye cockeyed and the other one just kind of. And a couple penguins piled up in here. Right? That penguin fought me? <laughs> Jim Dixon says, there you go. Yeah, now he looks kind of like, I'm gonna eat the penguin cause it's tasty. <laughs> so I didn't do my usual spiel about the pipe this week. Say it now quick. We have our pipe. If any of you would like to click the like button, the subscribe button, things will pop out, hopefully. And if you, can't, if you can't contribute, you can contribute for free just by spreading word. Yes, we appreciate that. Sharing. Club. Getting your friends to subscribe. Checking us out on Instagram. You can see our Instagrams on the bottom of the screen right now. Let them know they can come, watch two guys draw weird stuff, and throw out in. suggestions. Yeah, exactly. It's very... I have to eat him. Indeed. Maybe he's not happy. He just kind of looked like he's, he spent a long day, and he was like... 
waiting for this frozen pe- for this frozen penguin all day. Just kind of like, oh, finally. Oh, I can't wait. I wonder if this polar bear is well known for uh, his penguins on a stick. Or if they're just like a cheap, not so great penguin on a stick. It's like uh, it's like uh, New Haven Pizza. It's like you can go there, or you can go over here. Right. I mean, uh, I go to original Polar Bear Lou's frozen penguins on a stick. Uh, Polar Bear Lou, he makes the best. Well, his family's been doing it for like generations. Uh. How long do polar bears live? I mean, you know, years? how long are they supposed to live? Not how long do they live when humans destroy their habitat and kill them. Any polar bear experts? Okay, now let's see. I added a whole other... I've got a whole other arm here. A whole other arm? Let's see, trying to work out muscle. Because with a Yeti, it's like you can, basically you just give him furry, like gauntlets. <laughs> furry everything. Polar bears average 32 to 35 years. Oh, thank you, Jim. I was hoping he would chime in because he had all the platypus answers. Remember that? That's right. Jim, is this where we discover you work for National Geographic? Oh, that'd be great. If anybody out there does work for National Geographic, Chris and I would love to come along on a safari and draw all the animals for uh, your issue. I actually did a book for the Discovery Channel. I got the drug dinosaurs. Oh, that's and, right. And they took me to... Listen, I'm not supposed to say it. They took but, you to the Jurassic period? No, 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 no. Time oh. travel, eh. But Jurassic Parks, they exist. You mm. heard it here first. Mm. I mean, they don't got as many dinosaurs as... But as, like, the movies, but... You know, they got the, they got the core ones. They got, they got your, your, your standard... Starting lineup of uh, yeah, yeah, you had the T Rex, Triceratops, Gallimimus, or whatever they're called, Gallimimus, Ibuprofen, good old, fa- <laughs> good old fashioned Demetrodon, Diplodocus, before they got rid of it. No, oh, Diplodocus is still around, it's Brontosaurus. Oh, Brontosaurus. Oh, they put the wrong head on the wrong skeleton or something. Yeah. Jim knows. Yeah, Jim will tell us. Got some feet. Cut to like Jim. He's like, like wrestling a hippopotamus. Just like. Oh, that'd be great. If we had the budget, Jim would be wrestling a hippopotamus right now. I thought he said like, if we had the budget. We'd have a hippopotamus. Like we wouldn't. Jim, Jim, I'd have Jim wrestle it. I don't know if that's legal. I can't say. So well, we'd go where it was legal. You don't want to break the law. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of. There we go. I just shrink him down again. Shrinky dinks. I said I need more room. I need more room for his toes because that. Ugh, if only you were working digital. Is that the noise that Todd McFarlane makes when he draws? <laughs> no, he's more like. Yeah, it's like Venom's, Venom's tongue. You gotta get it out like this and all that cool stuff. I'm not looking forward to the day when we get an email from Todd McFarlane. I'd be like, hey, we met once. <clears throat> and 
He's like, I know, it's what it makes this even more insulting. I thought we were buddies. Chris, that's the name of the map. That's my nerd accent. Hello, everybody. Yeah, that doesn't sound anything like him. Yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta do the... See, I can't... I can't. That's the thing. Like, Tom McFarlane's accent, it's like, you'd think it'd be easy. You'd think it'd just be Canadian, but no. Littlefoot. What's Littlefoot? Littlefoot. Yeah, I saw Littlefoot. Is that that's what I was thinking of when somebody asked me if I saw Abominable? Abominable. Abominable. Uh, Abominable. I like this foot, but I hate this foot. Where did I draw this? Oh. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Right. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go close up on Chris and you guys are gonna tell me if you can hear his beautiful voice. Boom. Hello, everybody. Can you guys testing. hear Chris? Testing audio. Testing. Testing. One, two. One, two. I count for the people. Ah, ah, ah. Doo -doo -doo. So what do you got going on this week, Chris? You get everything good? Uh, yeah, I've actually got a, a few freelance jobs i got to get going. I mean, the deadlines are kind of nebulous, which is always bad, especially especially if I'm having one of those days where it's just like, uh, oh, oh, looks looks like I can't draw today, but no, i got a, a few. That's good. I need to get some of those. What am I doing here? Uh, it's like I try to explain to people. They're just like, oh, you get to draw for a living? It's like, yeah, sometimes it's feast or famine. <laughs> sometimes you're either like, oh, man, I don't know. And then sometimes it's like, oh, God, okay, I got to okay, I gotta do this. And then I got to draw this. And uh, and then sometimes people don't pay you. Yeah, and then sometimes you got to be like, hey, uh, you know all that work I did for you? Yeah. Owning your own business. It's a good time. Yeah. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes, yeah. In his snowbank. Thank you. Thank you, John. Busting out his dad jokes. I don't like that brown. But that's what's happening. I'm s I'm sorry, Jason. Oh, so I guess I guess you guys. Oh, his voice is louder. I can fix that. My voice is louder. Louder. Louder, you say? Now it's not. Uh oh. Take that. And go back to the split screen. Go back to the split screen. Yep. Ah, that's exciting. You work now. I worked that out before the show, guys, just for you. I actually like this color better. Did that change? Wrong layer. Just use it. Let's get him a bit. So I am now almost halfway through the Clone Wars season four. Ooh, nice. Yep. I don't want to spoil it for those of you who haven't seen it. But, uh, something cool just happened. John, how's Bree doing there? Is she drawing, is she still drawing fruit or what? Icy fruit. Gotta get her live on the show. I said she could take over from me one night. Yeah, that's a good idea. That was a mistake, because since then, Chris has never been on the show again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, like the, who's the guy from the Beatles? 
Bengals would be best? I don't know. Like they replaced with Ringo and then they got like really famous. Oh, really? Mm. I don't know anything. Really? I don't know. It sounds familiar. Oh, she's drawing a snowman. Perfect. Excellent. Ice, ice, definitely. Is it eating a penguin on a stick? Sometimes you have to switch back to what you uh, know. You know, little snowman here, a little fruit there. Back to the snowman. Drink a slushy. I think I'm going to come back in here and do some wood grain action later. Oh, I should do the, vo the voice or wood grain action. <laughs> wood grain action in a world where wood and grain and action occur. <laughs> okay. Good old, good old penguins on a stick. My polar bear is a little too blue. Oh, just cheer him up. I am. <laughs> Zing! Okay, let's see. What should I do for his eyes? You are going along with the music perfectly right now. It's uncanny. It is my special skill, my friend. How do you do it? So I've really been in the mood to do a convention lately. Really? Because you, for a while, were just like, I'm done. Well... I did quit for a while, uh, but I've been going back. Um, and not uh, setting up mostly, but you know, I did Terrificon last year. It was really fun. I was there with Franco. And then, uh, you know, Plastic City, Keith gets me there. Joe Caramagna and Andrew and Keith and you know all those people. It's a good time. Is uh, the Indiegogo's almost? Uh, he's, he's he's very close to getting the. Uh... Oh good. I want to do a cover next time. That was like the one he didn't he didn't even pay me for that cover. My one stipulation was you can't ask Jay to do one. Oh man. Yeah. I knew it. Yep, sabotaging you for uh oh, It's like the Beastie Boys. We have a white hat. Or a red hat. A reddish hat. Uh oh. I don't know what to tell you. Looks like I'm doing pink. Surprise. Unless somebody else changes that. I swear if somebody says checkered. Oh, oh, too many notes. Oh, sorry. What is that National Geographic? I'm sure Jim can get us uh, clearance on it. That's, um, isn't that the Wild World of Sports? No. That was National Geographic? I think so. Alright. Who knows? Everybody but me. Do you. Wild World of Sports, that's something else. 
I know, it's on the tip of my ear. Well, hello to everybody that's watching. Yeah. I know not everyone's chiming in. I can see you sitting there stalking us. That's fine. We don't mind. Let's... Can penguins freeze? I mean, I'm just saying, they have like three quarters of an inch of feathers. I didn't take them off. So they might be a little ripe. <laughs> And frozen. I like that idea. I might take that. And uh, then I'd have to freeze all these guys too. Are you crinkling wrappers or is that me making a noise? It's not me. switch out squeak squeak oh god look at that cancel that's all right we'll survive ah. i keep hearing my my stylus rubbing against the surface in my ears okay let's go with oh so i updated my threadless shop this week too i put and i What did I put up? What did we do last week? Oh, the wrestler. Oh, the, 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 like, green lobster man wrestler. Yep, my green lobster man muscle-looking guy is up there. And uh, I decided to make leggings, which is kind of ridiculous and funny. So if you know any ladies that need uh, weird leggings, go for it. I'd appreciate it. And if I could get a picture of anybody wearing those, uh, that would make my day. It'd be hilarious. <coughs> I had a few people, I had, is it like Redbubble or Society6 or something? I had one of those for a while. And uh, I sold quite a few shirts on there. And every now and then I'd get a picture. And uh, it was funny. I liked it. <laughs> the frozen peg was just... <laughs> He's just like, ah, how am I supposed to eat this? Mmm. That's got the crunchy shell. That's, that's from Lou's stand. He's got the crunchy casing. Yeah. And uh, this will be Bob. Bob uh, has the floppy penguins. <laughs> you 
you know, they're tastier. They have some tang to them because they're uh, a little fermented already. Okay, let's see. Let's... This is what I was looking forward to most, is to uh, make this thing look, look like wood. Kenny Rogers Roasters, it's the wood that makes it good. Is it? How much is uh, Kenny Rogers paying you now? <laughs> Not a lot, because he's dead. <laughs> Thought they might pay you in chicken. I don't think they. I don't think they exist anymore. I didn't want to tell you. Oh man, <laughs> you should have told me, man. I'm sorry. Gotta remember to look at the comments every now and then. How many looks does it take to get the center? My kids looked that up the other day. It's like 352 or something. Approximately. Bet you weren't expecting an answer to that. No, sir, I wasn't. here oh for a penguin pop um i think it'll take a really long time to get to the center of a penguin pop by licking it <laughs> the world may never know master all mr oh, penguin let's, let's find out who won I mean, a little kid think that guy was a jerk because he just ate those kid that kid's tootsie pop. Yeah, he did. It's a smart uh, owl. Oh, look how that doesn't line up. Wise owl. We'll just do that. I mean, a polar bear built it, right? I don't, you know, no knocking polar bears, but I haven't seen what one can do with a hammer. <laughs> but I'm just saying, probably we not great. We're gonna get so many letters. I know. From the polar bear carpentry guild. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> you hunt fish with that mouth? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Where do I want these to go? I'm just gonna make this one the same way. That's for you. Just whistling that for you. Go this way. Hmm. Not bad. Little little penguin shadow there. Oh, uh, you know what I'd like to watch? I haven't watched in years. Uh, the point. The point. Never. Did you ever watch that animated? No. What's that? Um. Uh, who drew it? I think the dude that drew Yellow Submarine did it. Or was it? The Phantom Toll Booth was Chuck Jones, right? Yeah. Yeah. The Phantom Toll Booth and The Point were movies I really liked when I was a kid. Really weird. You don't need a point to have a point. Okay, okay, that sounds familiar. Uh, Everybody, uh, it's about Oblio and his dog Arrow. Nope, sorry. Anybody else uh, ever watch that? Did I make it up? If I did, uh, 
I need to make it myself because it was good. I need to watch uh, Phantom Tall Booth now. They, they didn't remake that, did they? Uh, You've heard of that, right? Huh? The Phantom Toll Booth? What? You've heard of that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is correct. Got some dark wood, got some light wood. Multiple sources of uh, I don't know Arctic woods Are they in the Arctic? Uh, penguins are only South Pole No, no, no uh, Polar bears are, are polar bears South Pole? Uh, no, they're North Pole, I think Well, then how is he eating penguins? They're gonna have to import them oh, We yeah. ruined this whole thing that's why they're so expensive. That is why they're expensive. Three whole fish. And, and why they're a delicacy up there, because, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks pretty good. You know what that did? What? Turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> I was a little worried. I'm going to give it copper. Copper? Brass. Brass hubcaps. Boop, boop. Fred Wolf did the point. Thank you. Me and my arrow. It's one of the songs from the point. For those of you who are interested. I know you're all going to go watch it this week and we'll talk about it next week. And, uh, next week we'll be having a discussion on... Uh -huh. I'm gonna try to watch it this week, and then I'm gonna talk about it next week. Where are you gonna? Well, let me know if you find it. I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in it. It's probably on YouTube, but I will try to probably purchase it. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably cheap if it's available. Better than Puffin Pops. Now, Puffin Pops, you can go check out in Maine. Chris, have you gone to see the Puffins in Maine? No, there's Puffins in Maine. Dude, there's Puffins in Maine. Huh. High up. We should go. Okay. Seal Sickles. Ooh. All right, should I do a shadow here and then I think I'm done? I'm not sure here. What do you guys think of this? Got any last requests before... Uh... I put a fork in it before I put a stick in it and put little, some little hairs on them. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Don't do that. Um... I don't like something that's going on here. No, sir. I don't like it. That's better. Nice job, Bray. Blue is the way to go. I would have chosen the same color. I'm not going to, though, because... I don't want to color my background. <laughs> but I will put a drop shadow in here. Drop shadow? Shadow? So anyway, if anybody's listening and interested in my Threadless shop, I think there's a link in the description. 
Did I put that in the right spot? No, I didn't. No, I did. Okay. Look at that. This will look good on uh, Instagram. Hopefully tomorrow, if I remember. I was late with mine this week. Did you post yours from last week? No, no, I forgot. You haven't at all yet? No. Nope. At least I'd be Chris to it. I will try to post this on uh, Jason May Art on Instagram. Probably by Friday. And You want that on a shirt? I'm, I'm going to put it on Threadless this week. Keep your eye out. Hey, hey, Ryan, how's it going, man? If anyone wants anything on different colors on my Threadless, hit me up and I'll try to fix it up. We really wants you to announce her birthday is July 3rd. July 3rd. Do we have a show that day? I'm going to check right now. Hey! Right now. Nope. June 3rd July was a 3rd Wednesday. July 3rd is a Friday. Well, we got to remember that on July 1st. 1st, July 1st. We have to say, say happy birthday. We'll give it a try. I have a terrible memory. But we're going to do it. All right. I'm done. How did yours come out? All right. I'm just playing with uh, the line, ho line holds. Made it. Made the. Uh... There we go. A little I'm close digging up it. action. He's like, oh my god! It's a frozen penguin on a stick! Oh good, Bree will remind us. Thank you, Bree. Oh. I'm gonna hit a close-up of mine now. <laughs> Areas in all of his glory. Ah, oh, this this is not what I expected here tonight. I like it. <laughs> Some weirdness going on. That that is weird. Good job tonight, guys. And keep the suggestions coming. Yes. Um, I forgot to mention, this week's theme was brought to us by Jeff Foy. I don't see him tonight, but that's all right. He'll probably be here next week. Um, hit us up with themes on uh, Facebook. Probably the Jason May Illustrator page would probably be the best, but you can hit Chris at Art of Chris Gugliotti on Facebook or on Instagram. You can see that literally at Chris Gugliotti on Instagram. Right there. It's all right there. Uh, and I got my little piece of paper from last week. It still says bathrobes, tater tots, strawberry alarm clock, peppermints. I think a lot of that was Jim. Could be wrong. So hit us up with theme ideas. So thank you again for taking your time to joining us to joining us. Joining us in drawing with us. Oh, Jim Dixon, next week, haunted kitchen appliances. I'm going to write it down right now, Jim. Thank it's you. It's going on the list. Uh, there's my bicep. If you guys like biceps. All right. Haunted. My pen's not working. Ha, next week, birthday parties. Well, that's right. It's, if, if next week's going to be like the brief birthday thing, uh, oh. she should pick something. Yeah. Uh, Brie, could you get a Facebook account? And uh, and hit us up. Or you know, have her. She can tell her father. Oh, okay. You sure? I think I think so. All right, fine. Gonna do that. Okay. Haunted kitchen appliances, Jim. I'm gonna write it down anyway. Oh yeah. I'm That's good. Fun. I like that one. That's the kind of suggestions we like. I mean, we like them all. But that's a good one. I mean, I didn't know what I was gonna do with tater tots and bathrobes. That's a little rough one. But I mean, something would happen. Am I right? Tater tots and bathroom just sounds like three out of the seven days a week for me. <laughs> mm, you know, tater tots have been out at the grocery store. Really? At ours. Why you? You need tater tots? We do. I will. I will. Ma you can mail us some. Meet you at the border. Like <laughs> Omaha steaks. Like like bootleg running. Uh, 
Tater tots across the border. I don't know if I want bootleg tater tots. That doesn't sound good. That could be a great name for an album. <laughs> bootleg tater tots. Yeah. Our new smooth jazz bootleg tater tots. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the bootleg tater tots show. <laughs> I got Jay on the acoustic guitar. It's going to be our Friday night jam uh, live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Steve Musgrave. He should show up here. All right. Totally so right. I thanked you guys already. Thank you for taking your time and coming. You did. Yeah, thank you. Please like and subscribe. No, no Steranko background. You mean Kirby Crackle background. Kirby Crackles. Crackles. And uh, make sure you guys uh, share our reruns too, because all the reruns are on there. People yep, can go watch you can them see again. Every episode. It's almost as fun as being there. I mean, if you're not going to comment, watching a rerun is like the same. Right? You're not on the spot. Because I know yes. there's, there's a bunch of people watching right now that aren't chatting, and that's fine. And you people can go check out the reruns. Everybody can, actually. All right, you want to say anything, Chris, before uh, I press uh, the uh, octopus cleaning up our... Uh... Uh, no, this was fun. It was fun. See you, see you next week, folks. Yeah. All right. All bye. Right. Going to watch The Point this week. Bye. Later. Bye-bye. And... <laughs> I think you're still making noises on there.